In 1939, the modern world was introduced to the Batman, an apparent fictional character dreamt up in the minds of the comic strip creators Bob Kane and Bill Finger. But just recently, while flicking through the pages of Ancient Origins Online, we came across a publication by Caleb Strom which strongly suggests that the Batman was a known hero of Mesoamerican cultures and glorified in depictions and legends. And you gotta ask the question, was Batman real? Wait till you hear this. Mexican designer Kimball created this design of the Mayan Batman, known to the Mayans as Camazots. This piece was commissioned by the Mexican Museum of Design and sponsored by Warner Bros. Entertainment, according to the designer's official website. This suggests that there may be a real possibility that ideas for the heroes we read about in comics or watch the movies may have been sourced from ancient text. The Kamazat is the Mayan bat god which is associated with the night and the underworld. And this researched design is a fitting mashup with the iconic Dark Knight. According to Popol Vuh, this is a text written in 1550 that describes the history of the Mayans who inhabited the Guatemalan highlands northwest of present day Guatemala City. And according to these texts, the Kamazats had the head of a bat and killed his victims by attacking them at the neck and ultimately decapitating them. At the end of the 19th century, Eddard Seller identified the bats depicted on a ceramic vessel excavated by Erwin Dieseldorf at the site of Kama in Guatemala as the Kamazats or death bat from the Pulpovu text. According to Jeremy Coltman and James Grady, the attributions were never critically reviewed. Nevertheless, it became so deeply entrenched that virtually every image of a Mayan bat is identified as the Kamazats. And though researchers have attempted to untangle a century of mistaken identity on the matter, and we will of course be posting our sources below in the description box. In the Mayan culture, the bat god is linked to death. However, he is also the name of a monstrous creature which inhabited a cave called the House of Bats in the Popol Vuh. Most scholars believe that Kamazats was inspired by the common vampire bat that is found in this region. Other theories that attempt to explain this suggest that this was a species known as Vampyrus, which has a wingspan of five feet in most cases, and may have existed in the Americas before migration or extinction of the brood. Zatziloha was the name of a cave inhabited by the Kamazats, a monster with a roughly humanoid body, the head of a bat, and a nose that resembled a flint knife. The monster was said to attack victims by the neck and decapitate them. Kamazats is also one of the four animal demons responsible for wiping out mankind during the age of the first sun. Another example of such a story is in the Chonchon Chon in Peru which is thought to be created when a sorcerer known as a Kaku performs a magical rite causing his severed head to sprout giant ears and talons at death. The giant ears become wings. This is the magic transformation of the powerful Kalkus sorcerer that knows the secrets of Kalkus to become his feared creature. In 1988, a fossil of a vampire bat was discovered in the Mongos province of Venezuela. The bat was larger than the modern vampire bat by 30% and was dubbed Dracula. It was more popularly known as the giant vampire bat and they have now been identified at no fewer than sites in the Yucatan, Belize, northern Brazil and Venezuela. However, no clear evidence exists linking the Dracula bat with encounters of killing the people. However, it isn't out of the question because the sight of this thing could have potentially caused these people to fear it. 
According to Caleb Strom, in 2000, a tooth from Dracula was found in Argentina, much farther south of the modern range expected. It is difficult to date exactly when the bat went extinct, or if it went extinct at all. There have been mysterious sightings of giant bats or bat-like creatures. One of the earliest sightings of the modern era dates to 1947 when a tourist claimed to have seen several large flying creatures which were described as giant bats. In the early 1950s, a Brazilian couple claimed they encountered a bat-like creature in the same valley that fossils of the Dracula bat were discovered in Brazil. Another incident occurred in 1975 when an outbreak of animal mutilations hit Puerto Rico. A farmer said that he was repeatedly attacked by two gray bird-like creatures. These creatures were also seen by others throughout the mutilation outbreak. Another sighting occurred in the mid-1970s in Texas when a farmer asserted that he had encountered a bald bat or teasaur-like creature with short beaks and gorilla-like faces. Three-toed prints of this creature were also said to have been found, though we cannot find any photographic evidence to bring to you guys at this time. There is something very satisfying yet disturbing about this. What was it? Was it a Batman or was it simply a large species of bat that has since reduced in numbers and is now in remote locations of the Americas? Whatever truth may be, whatever it can be found, you can be rest assured that the Lost History Channel is actively seeking out these answers. Answers that are either hard to find or undiscovered. But remember guys, we may not have the answers, but we do have the questions. And we intend to ask these questions until the very end. What do you guys think about the Mayan Batman? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.